Today we're going to be opening up a My Hero Academia Figma Bakugo. Here's the front, the top, and here's the back. We actually did a review on the Deku, so we'll probably like see it, like see them like sized with together. So let's open them up. Let's see if it's real quick. Um, Need some help there, this one. Yeah, the bathroom goes a little bit more harder to open up than the deck room. And he seems to be heavier than the deck crew. So there he is. Let's get him out of his plastic encasing. So here's the back bow. You could just stretch him out of there. He has little kneecaps right here. We'll probably take this. Probably just to come out. Probably come out fairly well. Oh yeah, and be careful for the little back pieces. They're pretty sharp, so make sure you don't cut yourself on it. So let's just take this. A little plastic off. There we go. And the other plastic. I was watching reviews and the gauntlets actually move. Like the gauntlets move side to side if you want to pose them in like a particular like pose. So here's the back go. Here. I don't know why you would be basically like want the swivel thing. Like since the elbow moves, but I guess for like if you want them in like a particular pose. So let me just show you the swivel. There you go, like right there. He has a little swivel. So like if you want to like pose him in like the, uh, like the, uh, like the doing the explosions. So there he is. His leg bends all the way back. Fairly good. Can go pretty, can, can't go, well it could go out, but not too much cause the uh, thing, cause the little kneecap thing. His legs bend all the way out, so that's good for like the uh, stepping on stuff. Bend all the way in and go all the way out. Both legs do that. His, his waist, Heart can sort of swivel left and right and can sort of and can go back and can go forward. So here we go. So then there is the back we go. And now let's see his accessories. Let's try and let's see his explosions. It's a nice see through and then and then it looks like you added to another pair of hands. Oh, the face fell out. Look at that. So here's the face. And now let's try on the uh, like fair like explosive. Like the explosive hands. Let's see. I think the explosive hands just clip on. Yeah, they have like holes. Yeah. So let's see. So you just clip them on. Yep. One. And there's that. Now let's just open up the little baggie. It's a little harder to get the uh, hands out. 
she was on. So let's take these little pegs out. And let's add in the little hand. The little, like, fire hand. A little bit harder to plug in. Well, let me put it down real quick and then put the camera down. Let's see. Boom, got it. Let me do the other one while I'm here. See? Boom, got him. Got him both. Sorry about that, guys. We just had to adjust the hands. There we go. So you would just look for the little hole right there. I think. Yep. You would just plug it in. Just like that. Boom. There's the first explosion. It plugs in fairly well. And you would just get the other hand and get the explosion as well. I think it might just like bend around it. Yep, I'd plug in something fairly like that. And this is him base and this is basically like him like readying like basically like readying up to take you down. And let's try on and let's try on the angry face real quick. His face has come off fairly fairly easier than the Midoriya. His face is a little bit harder to put on. Oh, never mind. Him and Midoriya are the same. There we go. There you go. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Bye.